I am perfect. You are no, chaos. No, 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 no. 325 AM. You're making appointments for your own podcast. I... And I am still answering you. I'm a what do you mean? It's Sophia Franklin. You are listening to Sophia with an F. Hey, and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> I think you would know about that. It was just. I don't know about anything. I don't like. I, people I get, don't either. People can't cancel. Then the, the next day there's something new. Like it's just I know, like, but I also just don't keep up with. Right. Do you? I mean, I see the news cycle and and like, you know, I, and then. Like it you're just, on social media a lot. Oh yeah, all the time. To find I, girls to f Yeah, it's a kind of, it's my dating app, you know? It's my dating app. And I'm always getting like endorphin rushes from different apps. Like if it's not Raya, it's Instagram. Wait, I love Some this. girl just like hit me on TikTok and now she's like following me. Like, you know, it's like always like a different kind of thing that happens like on my phone. It's actually like, I don't love it. I wish that same thing happened in the real world more, but like, it's also not like feasible. What? I, like right now. I mean, like, yeah, like you took like four years to <laughs> sit down with you because you're such a flake. Okay, let's talk about our history because you know what? Yeah, pull the. Let's I, pull I, up I'm the. I'm pulling text. them up too because I need to make sure you're telling the truth. Okay, can I start? February fourth, twenty twenty two. Yo, it's <laughs> Vinny. Gotta read your part. Hi. When should we meet up? Hold on, I didn't finish this. Fe oh wait no what? this is oh wait okay so then i said an hour later you free tomorrow night i, I said <laughs> yes would you want to record for like 45 minutes at my place before super laid back chill and then we go now let <laughs> 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 now let me set some context here i'm a <laughs> hustler let me set some context here coming from the podcast world and whatever I I get that she wanted a guest to record for her show. And but I, I hit you up, from... and this is not a bad thing, okay. but I hit you up just to meet up with you to and f some business. Why does it have to be to f First of all, you're lucky friends? if I want to f you, okay? I don't necessarily want to I... f everything with f Okay, so I don't know if that okay. was the case. I mean, I... Sorry, your body a little count. Aggressive there. Your body count that you mentioned earlier. The body count happened because of the fame and because they were great women. It wasn't like I was just. Right. I mean, okay, maybe there were some years where I was just everything. Okay. But a lot of it was because it's unnatural for a man just to have that much, just to go on appearances every day and just be like the most beautiful girls that are like cool and chill that just like want to hook up. Like, have you ever been to Canada? Those girls are, <laughs> are lit, they're hot, and they have good personalities and they have healthcare and educated. Are they more like sexually liberated yes, in Canada? Yes, they're liberated in every way there. I mean, every country. Like, you can get one almost. night stood, is that, I don't know if that's a thing, by, a, by a girl like as easy as like a guy does it to girls here. I like They're that. They're mad chill and there's never any, it's all equality there. I love that. Yes. Let's move there together. <sighs> Um, okay, I'm sorry. You're my guest. Continue. Okay. So you're free tomorrow night. The <laughs> podcast thing. I was a little perturbed by that. Which Pol is... Okay. So, but then she said, yes, sir. And I said, okay, where do you live? <laughs> so like I was on board with it. So this is already going in my favor. I said, you can come to mine. What do you need to bring? Wow. Look at me going along with what you want. The ladies wants and needs. Okay. Okay. What time should I come over? This is 1046 p.m. I said like nine, okay? The next day, February 5th, 3.25 a.m. Okay, I'm 85% sure that will be perfect, but could you do Sunday if not? So he hits me up in the f <laughs> middle of the night. <laughs> next day, I, re I respond. I should have been like, this is crazy. Let me know, I probably can't record Sunday. So I answered her the next day. That was mean. And then she goes, 8.51 p.m. that night, she goes, hi, babe, just woke up and just seeing this. You still <laughs> want to do something tonight or could we pick a day? I'll be here till Wednesday, I think. And then I actually responded to you and I said, ah, I made plans. Hit me this week. Okay. I so am perfect. You are no, chaos. No, 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 no. Are no, you no, no. kidding me? A? That was all over the place. 3.25 a.m. You're making appointments for your own podcast. 
You showed up late to your own podcast today. I never laughed this hard in my entire oh my life. God. I... And I still answering you. I'm a What do you the mean? The way that I still respond to you flaky girls no. is like like someone All should All men what? love flakes. No, we don't love it. It's, it's whack. Not, but the thing is, I'm not doing the flaky sh on purpose. Great. So that you just have a mental illness. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, but it's not a good mental illness. Well, I have mental illnesses. I'll get, I'll I get have, on medication, I babe. I promise. No, I have mental illnesses too, but I'm still respectful of other people. It's not in me to ignore someone for that long. Okay, listen. How could you how could you make a plan with somebody, leave them in limbo? This is not just to you, I'm projecting to like a whole group of right. women out there. And men. And men, sure. Mm -hmm. But how could you make the put somebody in limbo? And then, <laughs> <laughs> I told you this is gonna be saucy at this point. And then expect them to like still answer you, respond to you, or even you wanted me to meet up with you that night at 9 p.m. <laughs> Cause you just woke up. Who wakes up at 9 p.m.? It's giving crackhead. Okay, so that is when I first moved back to the city. Uh -huh. And I was in full crackhead mode. Okay, self-awareness I'm sorry, good. what year was 2022. that? 2022. That's insane. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> okay. uh, it's 2024. <laughs> wow. It's been two years. Okay. So you, I've grown a lot. You didn't. You showed up late today. Sophia and I did back-to-back -to -back podcasts today, okay? Plug your podcast. Something went wrong with Vinny. No one watches it. It's fine. <laughs> we did this podcast, and then hers was going to go first at 4.30, and mine was going to be at 6, okay? And then I was so, so of course, nice. like a responsible 36-year-old man, I show up to do her podcast at 4.30, okay? Then she sends me a text, and she goes, can we switch, and you, uh, uh, you go first, and then I go second. I said, Why? sure, we could do that. The reason she was doing that wasn't out of the kindness of her heart. She knew that she was going to be late to her what was originally her own first podcast. 100%. And then we show up, and then I'm, I'm here for you for your podcast. It ends it ends up turning into my podcast. She was a half hour late. But my point is that nothing changed. You're hitting the vape. You're showing up half hour oh late. Oh, my God. You're a nice person. I like you, but it's still giving the chaos. Okay, if my biggest flaws, you know what? I was a little flaky aloof. <laughs> and aloof. I think your reaction, it's also kind of a test. Reaction's I perfect. No. I'm being so nice to mean. you. It's mean. You're gaslighting me. No. It's perfect. I'm answering you. It's Anybody mean. else would have been like, F this girl. Uh, I made hit other plans. <laughs> You hit me at nine o'clock that night to hang out. Is there no that night? Okay, we're you know what? We're reeling it back in because we're not gonna this is like a five hour conversation. Okay. Let's, we yeah, we're gonna talk about this all day. Yeah. Let's just let's move on from the text messages. I don't know why you keep trying to act like you're not trying to f but it's fine. I don't know. I don't know if I would f like are you good? Oh. Like, are you like, do, do we mesh? Like, I don't, I don't, I really don't just. This put, is I, a very. I don't just random. I really don't. I know you think that. I'm sorry. Are you on planet Earth in the same studio I'm in? Because you just <laughs> talked about what? how you would let any Canadian girl suck your First any of night all, of the week. Not any Canadian. I mean, <laughs> any Canadian, <laughs> any Canadian girls. Those are hot girls. They're awesome. They, they they check a lot of boxes for me to get to that point Okay, with so them. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm in an unnatural place where, like, I get those amazing girls that have... And it was because of fame, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm a f six normally. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But it's the fame makes me, like, an eight. And that gets me I would give you higher than a six. Depends. If it's, like, my... Because, you know, I do Chippendales, too. Yes. So if I'm doing that, then, like, I'm more of, like, a nine, eight... You know okay. I mean? Right. It's no, relative. Like I'm, it's I'm, relative. I'm, I'm honest. Like, who's a, who's a ten? The guy, the the tall guy from Euphoria. You want to know something? Did you watch Saltburn? No, the one on. Prime, the, it's so. the movie. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. I thought every other dude in the movie was hotter than Jacob Elordi. Okay, they were probably hot. Well, they weren't hot, but they were just dark and had personality and had like something to them. Their skin was dark, or they were just dark. Nope, oh. they were dark oh. in the in the mind, <laughs> okay. twisted. I'm dark. Okay. Yeah. In the mind. Yes. Clarified. Period. Very. 
Okay, and so... And below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I can't. So <laughs> you are calling me out on all... Like, basically breaking down a list of red flags that I have. Breaking down a list of... I'm not breaking down a list. I'm 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 noticing well, them. them. I'm out. noticing them, and I call them out as I see them. Okay, and flaky vape. Flaky vape. That's it. Well, I don't know much else about you. You know what I'm saying? Well, we just Are you looking for are you looking for marriage or are you like single independent no. woman CEO? No, we we spoke about this. We did. So I'm looking for marriage and children. I'm a little bit flag. conflicted. Red flag. Because I really want my career to Red take flag. off. Red flag, okay. Women with a career is a red flag to Vinny and just well, let that be known. Uh, you know, you, we all have to like, we all have to kind of like address this situation from a more adult standpoint, not just like rainbows and unicorns and we could all have everything. Life is about trade-offs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when two people are coming together, it's almost like forming a business. It's like, we're going to get married. What are you going to bring to the table? What am I going to bring oh, to the I table? I like that. I've never you know thought about that. Right, because this is this is how the world should be thinking about it. This mm -hmm. is not all rainbows and unicorns, where it's like I get Jacob Elodie. I don't think Jacob a, Elote, a lordy, and I love Elote. and he's going to be rich, and he's going to be my husband. I don't and he's think protect about me. in terms of you rainbows should. and butterflies. All right, good. I think the opposite. Okay. Very pessimistic. Okay, well, I'm no just... dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vinny he didn't die. Me. He just voluntarily I said, left. Her. I said, "Dad is not in my life." Vinny said, "Oh, he passed away." I said, "No, just voluntarily, not in my life." <laughs> she, <laughs> I was like, "This is how socially awkward I am." <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, I had no dad." I'm like, "Did he die?" <laughs> <laughs> this is me flirting. <laughs> and then me having to respond with, "No, he like knows I exist. He just doesn't yeah, <laughs> talk yeah, to me." Yeah. Okay, it's back different. to your point. It's so I have different. a pessimistic view. But you said something about intentionally dating, and you said it's really f hard, mm -hmm. which is insane to me. And I think for a lot of women who listen to my show, because I always assume, okay, girls in their late 20s, early 30s are showing up to the date and trying to figure it out right away. And letting the guy know, I'm serious, I'm on a clock, right, to have kids. Well, that's default. We know that. You don't have to tell us that. Okay. It's science. I mean, I would never say it. But I'm just right. saying, it's it's this thing where people assume women I don't think 30 people, and above are desperate. I don't think people are aware of that clock as much as they should be. Men as well. I think everybody should be aware of the clock more. I, I agree. But You're right. When the people know the clock, that's when they start to show up to the date with different vocabulary. But does that turn you off if a girl no, shows up to a date like that? You're the only dude on the planet I'm a that I'm a 36 year old man who is welcoming and ready for that. A 26 year old guy is not going to have the same conversation. But men that are especially. OK, so my like uh, hodum, like my retired thought world like, it could be a red flag. I get it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, I've already done that. I've been there. Like, I get, like, unlimited <laughs> like that. So, like, that doesn't excite me. Like, my unusual hit the lottery situation set me up better for this. Because, like, a guy that just started making money at 36 because... Oh, those are the words. He just got a job and girls are just getting... He finally is able to buy a Mark bottle. Mark Zuckerberg types. Actually, maybe he well, was young. I don't know. He's been married forever. Whatever. So like, the the real, uh, real nerds. Woman. The nerds. Yeah, they, like when they... When, I know guys that have like millions and millions of dollars recently because like they like started like an oil company and it got bought by like a thing. And those guys are like like just experiencing what it's like to be around women yeah they're so excited they're out every night you know right. what i mean they're trying to be cool can't buy cool by the way and <laughs> they're, they're trying that so hard and like for me i've been one oak since i'm 21 years old yeah that's just nothing for me you know yeah. what i mean like it's like you know again my flaws definitely come into account and i'll tell you all my red flags on the first date but at the same time i am ready because like i have done all that before I am aware of the clock. I don't want to die alone. And I'm becoming more successful, actually. Like, I just, like, with all my random shit that I do, like, 
And when I say the, the world might not see it as that, but my bank account does, which is what's most important. Mm -hmm. And it would be. Can I see your bank account? Yeah, sure. It would, which one? There's like 10. Okay. And I have a real estate portfolio too. Okay. But it would be nice for a woman to kind of be there, to hold that down, mm. to kind of like be supportive, to be like when I'm, it's, it's, it's fucking annoying. Like going and doing like these like reality shows that I do and shit. Like it would be so nice to like call somebody. You need a support system. Yeah, it feels so good. I've, and I've had it. I know what it feels like. And, and, and I'm looking for that, you know? So that's why I say those things on the first date. And it's like, it's like I'm, some women are looking at me like I'm crazy. So women I'm like, girl, like I'm trying to move you into like a fucking penthouse in Soho and be loyal to you. Like what's so bad about that? I think that women assume that you're full of shit. If I had to guess. No, they're not thinking about it. They're still in this other... Oh, it's because you're dating 20-year-olds. They're, the, they're in the Sophia 22 era <laughs> that couldn't even text back because she was fucking waking up at 9 p.m. That was one time. That's all it takes. You cannot... I'm sorry. <laughs> my history is not in those five text messages. Okay, but you're saying women have like an adverse reaction to it. That's crazy it's to not me. It's adverse. It's not like, oh my God, I, well, yeah, sometimes it is adverse. Sometimes it's like a little bit like, how dare you? But for the most part, it's like, they just don't get it. They just don't understand what's happening. And what they don't get, which is the most important part, is that as you're being nonchalant about this shit, I'm fucking going somewhere else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like the biggest part you're missing out on. And like, you know, it's like that that joke, like there was like a flood and like God Noah's kept Ark. something like that. Like God kept sending like somebody like a boat and then he sent somebody like a dolphin to ride. Did and then the guy was like, the, the, guy was, the guy was like, I'll get the next one. I'll get the next one. And then little by little, God got the guy died and then he gets to heaven and then he's like, God, what the fuck? Like, why didn't you why didn't you save me? He's like, I sent you four boats. Okay. I am the boat. You know what I'm saying? And no one's jumping on it because they're fucking like, oh, I got to go to the box. The box is a club, by the way. But I do find it alarming. So if you go on a date with a girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're still podcasting, by the way. If you go on a date with a woman or a girl, because I know you like early 20s or whatever. And she well, says, I don't like early 20s, but they'll they'll. Go ahead, go. They'll they'll be there's good there's 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 green flag qualities about early twenties, but there's also red flags. What are the green flags? The green flags is that they are, you know, you can kind of mold them into what you need. Uh, they, uh, well, first of all, like less bodies. <laughs> they're less ran through when they're in their tw like early twenties. Uh huh. Um, Do vaginas get bigger the more they've been ran through? I don't notice that. Okay, I don't notice that. That's... Mentally, they feel bigger. Okay. Mentally, I'm like, wow, this is huge, but I don't know. Okay, because so, that's not factual. I don't think so. I don't think like no. literally, it's, you know what I mean? It's more of just like a... A mental thing. For like an alpha dominant type of dude, mm -hmm. like they just don't like that. They like when it's like more, you know... Like, like virgin? No, I don't really like virgin. Just like more, like I told you on the other podcast, like thought out relationship type of girl that has yes. been, you know... Acquired bodies in a, like in a somewhat responsible way, you know. So what I mean? you would not. And I totally think there's a double standard between male bodies and women bodies. So and anyone who says otherwise is delusional. And also, like most of the women that I get into that debate with, they, I go, okay, what's your body count? And they always say it's something low. So I'm like, you're fighting for something that you don't even, you're not even on the same side of because you're trying to de defend women. You oh, know what I, I'm I see what you're saying. It's never, it's never that, you know. Well, from my point of view, and we spoke about this on your podcast, mm -hmm. I recently came to the realization that I care about body count when right. it comes to men. Right. So you can, so, so though, and you know what? You'll never ever hear me or usually another guy get offended by that. That's your standard and that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily agree with it. I think men are going to fuck more than women. Yeah. Okay. I agree. I do think when you start to get into like, male sex addict territory not me not me you start it starts to get weird because i i'm a guy i know i know guys and like there are some that are fucking weird can my you shit, tell me what i have weird accumulating is? i've accumulated quality bodies again because of my unnatural situation yes. but there are like my, my my friends that aren't famous that are just out here fucking everything it starts to get weird and what do you think that's about like why are they doing that 
Um, it's just like, I don't know, it's just men. It's just men, it's, like, trying to get a nut off, just trying to fucking... Just horniness. Horniness, trying to conquer the world. They're fucking, like, you know, spreading their seed. They're they're at a club. They're drunk. You know, they still go out. I don't go out. I'm like a grandpa. I go out, like, fucking, like, once a month. Mm-hmm. I don't even put myself in the position to, to be tempted. And okay. when I do go out now, the last thing I want is some fucking girl at my house that I don't know. My point is, there should be a red flag territory for a male body count as well. I just think that the scale is different for both. And I think that double standards exist both ways. Okay. I know that I'll get ripped apart for this, but no, men I agree have with plenty you. Plenty of double standards that w- women it's in the favor of women. And I'm, I don't care. I don't complain about it. It just is what it is. You know what I, I mean? I agree with you. This is the one thing that not only is it a double standard, Women are, are most women or a lot of women are on the side of the men where they actually prefer that he's gotten laid before. It shows it shows a sign of, of power that he has resources, that he has money, yeah. that he's good looking. You want a weird virgin techie dweeb no, guy that but can't get I mean, pussy? come on, we're talking hundreds. Like in the hundreds, I'm gonna start like to be like this guy's a problem. I don't know if it's a problem. Give you the ick. Okay. You know, it's funny because we were talking a little bit over there too, like I'm um I'm not like a I'm 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 sort of like a you know conservative red pill guy when it comes to like the double standard and the body count which I don't even think it is I think it's just fucking common sense but like I'm also like a sexual deviant and open about other things that they would never do. So what do you look for? Okay, so I was going back to the other thing is which is like you I wouldn't have a problem if my girl was into girls. And like, obviously it's for like the, you know, like the, the threesome fantasy or blah, blah, blah. But I'm not even like going into that. Like, do you even uh, like that that much? Eh, it's like, all right. Like I, to be honest, like I've gotten into like med cause like I've dated like, you know, like bottle girls and shit before and they're all like wild and they're all like, I want to have a threesome and it never happens. It's just, Why? it's because like, they're not really into it. I feel like they, oh, just, they say just say it. it yeah. To... Just like say it. But then like okay. once it happens, like, like I would, if I ever dated like a truly like bisexual woman that like. I want her to like it more than I like it. I want it to be her idea. I don't want to be like, babe, can we fuck this girl? Like, that's fucking creepy. You (gasps) Mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? But like, mm -hmm. I want her to be like, oh my God, like, I really want those big ass titties right now. You know what I mean? Well, not you, because you like, I don't like masculine. No, you like masculine. You like, um, true. Got butch lesbians. Yes, (laughs) I do. Yeah, I don't know. If I, I don't know if I can get behind that. Even though on Jersey Shore, I had I had a threesome with two really butch lesbians once. It was kind of fun. Were you like, how fucked up were you on that show? I was drunk every night. I never, like, never to where I lost my mind, but like never was, blackout. No, I don't. I, I've never what? blacked out. I never blacked out in my life. I'm a good guy. I've never done a drug in my life. Wow. Yeah, just drinking and just you know. But how would you never black out? Like that's what I mean, you guys I've had. Did. Like I've had like where the night becomes like bits and pieces, but uh, I've never like had like a hangover night where like I don't know what the fuck happened the night last night. Right. You know? I and think it's that on camera. Th- <laughs> I would, mm-mm, that would not be good for me. Yeah. I think threesomes are overrated. Uh, It depends. If you're really truly having a, if you're a sexual person, do you like porn or no? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you like porn, you're a sexual person and you find a couple, three people, <laughs> I had to do the math on that, that are truly into it and everyone's vibing and you all had a couple drinks together and there's no insecurity because the guy knows what he's doing. You, the guy has to know what he's doing. Most men, when they're having a threesome, they're going to be like so excited and shocked that they're going to be like, oh, my God, like I'm fucking two girls. You know what I mean? Like you got to like fucking sit back, baby. You got to like have a drink. You got to let them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if the vibe is right, it could be like a really, really good time. You know, I think I was and that's too rare. Young. That's rare. That's rare. I think I was too like immature sexually to enjoy it the way I should. And also like my boyfriend at the time was was with a boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. So you were willing to bring someone else in a hundred percent. And was it, was it, was there any jealousy? Did it turn bad? There was definitely some jealousy, Uh but I had hooked up with girls, just me and a girl Mm -hmm. before him. Okay. But I think, yeah, maybe but I just need to... But, 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 but with the guy, with the boyfriend, it wasn't like uh, a good situation. Because because I think that that's a wiring in the brain that's either there or not, where a woman literally can like, just like 
experience that and watch that happen and like be turned on by it versus like, oh my God, like I can't believe I have to stomach this and just deal with it for my man. I would yeah. say I was somewhere in between because okay. I do find women it's, attractive. And it's hot. Like the whole thing is hot. But then after yes. you come, it's like, what are we doing here? Yes. Yes. I remember like we did a threesome and then we had to drive her home mm. and she sat in the front seat of the car. What? <laughs> he made you sit in the back? That's bad. See, he doesn't this know. Is the worst he doesn't know what he's doing. What? How did that even happen? I have no Does fucking clue. Does he just clue. say like, "Hey, she's the guest"? No, so she, gets she the... sat in the front, and I oh, just nah, she I got to know her role. She got to know. Yeah, there were there yeah. were a lot of things. Nah, girl, you got to sit in the back. You got a special car seat. The the put, put, unicorn, the threesome girl. The great threesome girl. Yeah, you sit in a car seat. She watched a little movie in the back. Yeah, no, he and you guys he, like you know talk. He gaslighted the fuck out of me. I have actually experienced a relationship where it function pretty well like you know what i mean like she didn't she just didn't have that wiring and also like i never approached it from a place where i was begging for it where i was thirsty for it um he always has to be the one initiating it honestly like it was like her friends oh and it was her friend yeah and i know that a lot of girls like no it can never be my friend mm -hmm. i'm like no girl it should be your friend because like really well then who, how's it gonna happen I don't mean like your best friend. I mean like, you know, like maybe an acquaintance or something like okay, that. Okay, friend. Yeah, because like if Not it's best because if it's me doing it, then now we're talking about me initiating it and it's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I had a court and pick up this girl. Right. But if it's you because you truly are want to like do this and you're like a sexual kind of girl, then it's all coming from a place of you. And then when it comes to the man, like listen, most again some men most men probably don't know how to handle the situation me personally if i ever did that that other girl i wouldn't give a fuck about her i love one person i love my girl we're gonna fucking cuddle after after i come all the fucking sexual deviance goes out the window and I become where a does little the other girl sleep behotch. um <laughs> the other girl doesn't sleep over she leaves wow she leaves we drove the girl home too and she sat in the back <laughs> okay, see, we drove her home the morning after, and she actually slept in the middle. Oh, no, like a child, <laughs> like you were babysitting. Yeah, that's cute. Nah, I don't. I'm not even joking. Nah. Yeah, I mean, look, like I haven't had this. By the way, like this is, this has only happened to me like a couple times in my life years ago. I'm sure there's all different scenarios. If it was five in the morning, I wouldn't like just kick some poor girl out. Um, but you're not gonna be like, let's like, all like, sleep in home. the same bed. I love my sleep. I don't. I, I can barely sleep next to one person in a bed, let alone really? two. Really? Yeah, I have to like love you to sleep next to you. Wow. That's like an in, sleep to me is more intimate than sex. Okay. And kissing is more intimate than sex too. Okay. You can fuck with a condom on. You're not even like technically. You're not even touching the person. You're just right. like inside of them. But Same kissing. Same with anal. What? Anal's like not. You're inside of them. <laughs> okay, so you've had hookups where you don't kiss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what do you do when they try to kiss you? I'm just like kiss their neck a little bit. <laughs> I just like I'm like yeah, let's go down Bob there. Bob and weave. Yes, yeah, Bob and weave. I think they kind of understand it too. They don't like it's it's like a mutual thing. Like they just kind of. I like, would never understand that. I'd be shocked. Yeah, I kiss you though because you're like kissable. You know what I mean. But like so maybe that's just like what guys feel towards you. Okay. But there are that's some. That's the nicest thing you've said to me. For I'm the a last nice guy. Four hours. I'm just like realistic, Sophia. Mm hmm. So you said you had a threesome with a relationship that you were with. But have you ever had a threesome as part of someone else's relationship, like where they brought you into it? No. Good. Green flag. Why? Because women feel like they wouldn't have a threesome with their person because they love the person and they're attached to the per to the person. Okay. But they'll willy nilly doing do it with a a third party because they don't care about the person. Yeah. Well, you've never done that. I've never done it, but okay. I understand that concept. I understand the math and the logic of it. Okay. But at the same time, I don't. Be Why? Because, like, some dude is with his girl, and they're using you as, like, some third-party prop and, like, having a threesome with you, and you're sucking his dick, and you're doing all the things. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing But you're that. not doing it with your man because you love him. I wouldn't the man that dead. you love should fucking, if anything, get everything. 
You know what I'm saying? Why is this random dude getting your threesome, but oh, the other guy can't have it because you love him? Like, oh, lucky okay. him. We have He's to providing ask, for you. He's protecting for you. We need to ask the real question. Threesome, you and another dude and your girl. That's a train. <laughs> It's only a threesome if the no, guys. It's only a threesome no. if the guys are bisexual and fucking each other. What are you talking about, Sophia? Two straight dudes can DP one girl. It's called double teaming. And they're not bi it's not or a threesome. gay. It's called double teaming. A threesome oh is with a two girls and a guy, no. or three girls. Okay, would you be down with your girlfriend, you, and a dude? Personally, no. Why? Because it's, first of all, we're different animals, double standard. It's not the same thing. <laughs> I don't want to see my woman doing all that. I'm just a possessive guy. I, I, I told you I want her to have a low body count. What okay. makes you think I want to have a fucking dick in her ass and pussy? <laughs> what if it's in her mouth? <laughs> That's even worse. We talked about this. I'd rather you get fucked than suck dick, actually. Okay, I love that comment. If well, I mean, girl... I don't prefer it. Don't. I'm okay, not encouraging this. But I'm just I'm saying. I'm just saying. No, because one time I was on a date with this girl. <laughs> I need more wine. One time I was on a date with some girl. I'm just going to start chugging the bottle. I mean, I tried for it, and we were all for the cause, and you stopped it. The podcast is over. I got um, to find a date to go on now after this. Okay. Start scrolling. Yeah, not going to be you, Vapey McVaperson. <laughs> the fact that me vaping. Oh, such a red flag. That means like you guys suck on that thing like you're fighting for your life. You've seen me suck on it once. I've been and here for did, hours. You were like making up for lost time. This shit was like 15 <laughs> seconds. Wait, what was I saying? <laughs> um. Oh. Sucking dick oh, versus right, right. getting fucked. No, because this girl was like, she was like on a date with me and she was telling me like her job, which thing like she worked in like a poker room type of thing. Okay, so she, yes. <clears throat> right, so. It's, she was a she was a bottle girl slash waitress for poker parties that are underground yeah. and would like massage them and do whatever. <laughs> right, that's what okay. I thought. That's what I thought. And then she like. Then like 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 we're on like our third course, like in between like the steak tartare and the fucking Caesar salad. She's like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, so what do you do? And because I'm I know what she does, so I know she's not like fucking like uh, the Virgin Mary, but she's like, oh yeah, I do these things. She's like, she's like I get guys drinks. Like sometimes like I'll give them massages, and I'm like, all right, like I'm I'm kind of on I I I don't love it, but like I'm like all right, like like welcoming, accepting feminism, and then all of a sudden she's like, uh, oh, but like you know, if they give me five thousand dollars, I'll give them head. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, like my fucking jaw dropped. The fucking steak dropped out of my mouth. I'm like, I can't believe I have like three more courses because I'm a foodie. So like, you know, this is big to me. You don't just drop a bomb like that mid bomb dinner. To okay. Me. I'm... And I'm like, I'm like, now, now we just get into this whole other side debate versus like, what's more like violating to the male brain of like, you know what I mean? And all the feminists are going to say like, I'm weak and like, blah, blah, blah. Cause I can't like accept handle my woman. That. I can't handle my woman sucking 30 dicks at the same time, uh -huh. <laughs> which I can to be my friend, but maybe not my <laughs> wife. I don't know where yo, this is going. We have to cancel. I this. don't know. I don't know where we might have I to. Wanted, yo, I didn't want to do your podcast. I didn't want to say anything crazy. And I ended up, being the craziest. You, I'm sorry. Do you remember how we ended yours? Wait. So okay, we got to wrap this up. Wait, all right, we'll wrap, well, speaking of wrap it up, sucking dick, even if it's with a condom or whatever, to me, like if I had a gun to my head, like what would you rather do? I'd, I'd, I'd probably rather the sex part because it's not really as intimate. You'd rather a guy fuck me than me suck his dick. Gun to my, I wouldn't rather both, but if I had to choose, yeah. yes, because the sucking the dick, you're on your knees. The guy doesn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. He's laying back in this like he's like totally like thinks he's like the shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If he's trying to fuck you, he's going through it. He's fucking nervous. He probably can't get his dick hard. He's having pain and struggle. And even OK, that's probably what's happening. But even if it's not happening and he's able to pull it off, he's probably like, like it's not that intimate. You know what I mean? Like you guys aren't kissing each other, especially in that. Like the Are you saying guys have a hard time fucking me? No, but I'm saying like when a guy has to per uh, when a guy gets his get his mm. dick sucked, he doesn't really have to perform. OK, he has to perform when he's fucking. I forget that. So I want him to go to feelings. some kind of like, yeah, they do have feelings. I forget that. Right. And I want him to go to some. I just had a whole psychology episode. I can't believe this is following it, but this is why I need therapy. But he. <laughs> 
has to go through something, and when he's just getting a dick sucked, he just has to lay back, and, like, you're the one doing all the work and shit like that. So I'd rather him have to go through some, like, kind of, like, mental anguish or right. something like that. And It's, it's not- like when a girl has to get on top. When does that happen? <laughs> exactly. For Close to never. five fucking seconds? I know. And they don't even know what they're doing it's when too they're much on pressure. top? No. I don't, I, what, what should I, you do? Nothing. Is it Just grind? give good head. Just give good head and let the Mm-mm. fucking guy take over. Because really, what else are you doing besides that? Putting your fucking ankles behind your ears that's only you like? We don't even like that. What if I'm like We're not... like on like a fucking like weird workout bench. <laughs> where I'm holding your ankles and you're like bended up like a pretzel. It's so stupid. Oh, wait. I forgot. You like to soak. I like to soak. I like to be passionate. I like to be like sensual. So soaking means I like to have a penis. connection with somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't have a connection if you're just fucking like crazy. Okay, but you just parking your penis in we're a vagina. Spooning, but while we're spooning, I'm inside of you. Okay, so tell me the green flags of who you? No, <laughs> please no. Uh, that would we'll be that would be that would be tough. Yeah. Green flags on a first date: a girl that you would want to marry. That give marriage material vibes. Okay, so it would be... um, Because I'm taking notes, too. Again, this is for me. Every guy is going to have a different answer to this, okay? Mm -hmm. Because some guys might love a famous woman that has a lot of money. I totally accept that, okay? I personally, I feel like that's more of my role because of who, you know, what I've accomplished and who I am or whatever. I am not looking for that. I'm not looking for the power couple shit. But... I'm also not looking to split the bill with you. I'm also not s- looking to split I the bills that. with you. I'm, lo- I'm willing to pay for everything. I'm going to be the gentleman. I'm going to pay for it. I want you to be able to like pay for your own hair and nails and like buy me like a fucking pair of sneakers once in a while out of just like a gesture. You know what I'm saying? But uh-huh. for the most part, I'm going to want that, right? So a woman that's doing that will be looking for the same thing. She'll be looking to provider. to do a for a provider because mm-hmm. she wants to become a mother. Mm. She wants to become a mother. No one's forcing her. She just has this innate thing inside of her that she wants to become a mother. She's looking for a guy to provide resources for her so her kids don't starve to death in a cave. Okay, yes, but I want uh-huh. children. Do you? Yes. Okay, so I you do. know life is about trade offs yeah. and sacrifices. Mm-hmm. So you might have to. Reel back the career shit. Whatever it is to 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 you have to figure out that the whatever guy that you want. I don't know what that guy is for the general population. That like decent looking. I don't really care about that part. Decent looking, athletic. Hand, I don't care about that. I mean, you should a little bit because that shows that they have they care about like like I care fitness, about brain. But it's not about aesthetic. A guy that's into his fitness cares about his health and his body, and he's committed to something. He's disciplined. It's like a guy that makes his bed every day. You should get with a guy that makes his bed every day. That, that be- okay, that fine. Okay, same thing. Going but to I'd the gym. I'd rather he be intelligent. Okay, but you know, and you could be both. For the general population, good-looking guy, has money, has no kids, gonna be loyal to you. All that shit. You have to ask yourself, what does that guy want from me? Not what do you want. You can have what do you want in here somewhere. Yeah. But you're trying to you're trying to seduce him. You want to know what does he want, and what he wants probably at his life when he's forty something years old is to start a family and to have kids. He doesn't want to go to little sister. There's a lot. He doesn't of, want to go to the box. I don't think I don't think you've been out enough recently. I have. There's a lot of 40 year old dudes and older who are trying to go to the box. Yeah, but those guys either, like I said, just came into money. Yep. Or maybe they're even on their second marriage. They've already had kids, and now they're going into their party boy yes. era or something like that. You know yes. what I'm saying? Or they're just like pieces of shit. Guys are fucking disgusting. I agree. Guys are horrible. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not including them. I'm including, like, a good guy, whatever. What does that guy... I'm not saying bend the knee to, like, random fuckboys. Do you think do men can Do it to, like, good be, men. Do you think men can be loyal forever? Yes. For an entire lifetime. Do I think that it is possible? Yes. Do I think that realistically it'll be... It depends. Like, it could be a struggle for some men... It could be easy for some men. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot a lot of that's a broad statement. We can mix in religion to it. Like Steph Curry, I don't know if he's loyal. He's a fucking superstar. He might be because he's so religious. If you tap into religion, you can kind of like get that maybe someone being loyal. 
Um, uh, I think also that's why it's important to go with your physical taste. So all you people that are like, oh, like, why does he only date a certain type of whatever? No, it's important. You're going to be with this person the rest of your life. They have to push that button the rest of your life. It can't just be like, oh, I think she's pretty today. But it's like you're a fucking guy that loves giant natural titties. You know what I'm saying? And she doesn't mm -hmm. have them. No offense. So uh, I just objectified a girl again. We'll take another sip. The sip of nothing? And by the way, B cup. We're working with a B cup. A red flag to me is any dude with even a teeny tiny bit of clout. Could be. I that's, don't like that's, that. That's bye. Your... Athlete, bye. Reality show, bye. DJ, oh, bye. Man. I don't. Yeah. Instagram You're right. following. You're smart. You're smart. Entertainers and the entertainment industry is not something that's, it's, it's a whole other world that I think that Everyone's a little bit fucked up and twisted and kind of have to like meet each other in the middle in certain places of, of different things. It's not a traditional you, middle America no. like I come from, like I work in finance and you work in fucking your school, kindergarten teacher and we come together. It's not that, you know what no. I mean? But you're a little fucking edgy too. So I think that you, that's why you fall into that world. You know what I mean? That's true. So here we are. What's so up, maybe, baby? What's good? What's up? What are we doing after this? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The amount of shit you talk to me, like, I don't know. Oh, well, it, is, it is what it is. Girl, we, girls like me because I'm so honest. Like, I say, girls I say, love you. I say things that every, like, first of all, I'm just telling you the truth and that most men think. I'm like, I'm like a, uh, what's that? Like a, like an inside, like, I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't insider, be saying these things insider. that, like, that men do. But mm -hmm. I, I, I say them to women. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm, I'm like riding on them, you know? Yeah. But I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. You're a rock. Yeah. And, but I also, you know, I love women. I, I, I have, I know men, you know? No, so. I think that very few men are as in touch with their feelings. I know that sounds corny. Oh, yeah. Man, in touch with my feelings. Or, yeah. Maybe not your feelings, but you're just, you're intellectually, you understand emotions and you have a high EQ. That's and it. And I live it. I live it. I'm in this world. I'm right. doing the dates. I'm doing the thing. I'm, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's We're nothing. We're fucking. It's authentic. I'm fucking once in a while if I have a connection. Same. If I have a connection with somebody. Yeah. And that's it, you know? And that's it, guys. And that is Sophia with an F. Wow. That's Sophia with an F and that's Vinny Sophia with a V. And Vinny with a V. Thanks. I have a new podcast. It's called yes. Something <laughs> Something Went Wrong with Vinny. And, and something did go very wrong at the end that I hope won't make it, but you should go check it out. What? What went wrong? I don't know. Oh, at the end of the other one. I at the oh, end of, of yours. No, that was so cute. That was so cute. Um but yeah, follow me everywhere. <laughs> Bye, Sleuths. Love you so much. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>